Okay, so here I'm just going to show you how to insert uh, the different lines that you can manipulate so you can get a maximum and minimum slope. So if you want to know exactly what those are and more about how to do them, um, you can go to the topic one section of this website and um, there is a full length on detail on how you can calculate that and such. So in this, I'm just going to show you how to insert it into this graph. So all you're going to do is going to click here on curve fit. You're going to click MX plus B, the linear, and you're going to click manual. Just click OK, and you'll have this new box here. So just going to double click on the box, click on linear fit options, and just change the slope so you can see it, and click enable line drag. Um, I recommend changing the color so it's easier for you to see which line you're working with. I'm just going to click violet. Click OK. And there, now you have this line. So now you, uh, using clicking on the little diamonds, you can drag them up and down uh, to see where they go, where you need to put them. Um, now after you are happy with it, and it'll also here show you the slope, and whatnot, you uh, have to double click it again, click linear fit options, and unclick enable line drag. Um, this will just make it easier so when you insert another uh, line, um, it won't drag this with you. So if you're going to insert another line, curve fit, MX plus B, manual, click OK. Again, double click it, linear fit options, click nine. Enable line drag, and this color, I'm just going to make it pale green. Okay, okay. Now do the same thing however way you want it. So I think this is the minimum. There. Now you can drag it so you can see all three slopes and their intercepts, Y-intercepts, and there we go.